There are three major equations we use to solve kinematics or motion problems. Some books will list four, some may even say five, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, we'll be using all of them. For the purposes of this course, we'll talk about the big three. And we're going to start with kinematics equation number one first. We're going to derive the first kinematics equation from our definition for acceleration. We start with acceleration is the change in velocity over the change in time. Now delta means change, so delta v is your final velocity minus your initial, and delta t is your final time minus your initial time. So we're going to make a little assumption here that all the problems we do we're going to start at time equals zero. So in that case, t at zero equals zero. So if this quantity right here is zero, we can just say delta t is equal to t. So what we do here, we plug that in. We have v minus v zero over t. And between here and here, I hope you can see that we just multiply both sides of the equation by t. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the left. And then we have at is equal to v minus v zero. Now, I want to solve for my final velocity because typically I'll know what velocity I'm starting at, what acceleration I have. So I just put this side over on the left, v minus v0 equals at. You can always switch sides of an equation. I add v0 to both sides, and here we go. This is kinematics equation number one. Okay, we got there just from the definition of an acceleration. And this is an incredibly powerful equation. We know what we start, what our initial velocity is, we know what our acceleration is, and if we know how long we do it, we can predict the velocity at any future time.